Hey guys, right, as promised, um, I featured this in my haul video and I said I was going to do a little review on it, which I'm going to do today. And it's this foil design gel by, by nailperfect.com. And it basically means you can do loads of different designs and use transfer foil with it. Um, I've been doing this method with shellac with no problems, but with um, gelish or IBD or any other 100% gel formulation polish, the tacky layer just isn't tacky enough for the transfer foil to stick. So I was looking for an alternative and I think I found it with this. So I'm going to be demoing this today. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned. Okay, so to start with, I've just prepared two colour pops and I've done a gradient effect with these. So this one, I've used my new IBD Just Gel Polishes in these two colours you can see on the screen. And then these two as well, pink and orange. And what I'll do, I'll put a link to my gradient video so you can see how I achieve that. So this has been top coated, so what I'm going to do now is just slightly buff it down with the soft side, so the 180 side of my buffer, and this is just to prepare the surface, so we're just going to remove the shine, not the whole of the top coat, but just remove the shine, so the surface is nice and matte, so the gel will adhere to that surface. So if you can see that now, the shine, most of the shine's gone. So what I'll do, I'll finish this one and I'll do the other one as well. Okay, so the shine's been removed from those by buffing. So what I'm going to do is open my gel. Let's put a piece of kitchen towel down. And there is another layer in here, which I tend to get my tweezers and just put that back in the pot because it's really, really sticky. Now the consistency of this is like a gel as opposed to a gel polish which sometimes can be quite watery. So this is more of an actual sort of builder, builder gel if you like. So what I'll do, I'll get my brush ready. And what I'm using is just a very fine mini sort of striper brush which I've cut down so it's really, really thin. So all I'm going to do is do just like a scroll effect on here. So all you do is pick up your gel and as you can see it's quite stringy but it's actually not, I find that nicer to work with when it's like that. And then all we're going to do is just start, I'm just going to do a random, really random design on here. And you don't want it too thin, but you don't want it too thick either. Because you want it to cure in the lamp properly. But as you work with it, you will get used to the consistency of it. So I'm just doing any old random thing, as you can see. I'll just do some dots down here. Now this cures in an LED or a UV light. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cure that now and then go to work on the other one. Okay, so on this one, I'm just going to do like a little corner detail on this one. As you can see, this gel is quite thick. So if you wanted to do just a thin, thin layer first and then go back over it, you can do that. 
but it is so much nicer to work with than actual gel polish and it doesn't run which is nice And then I'm going to be using gold and silver transfer foil today. But you can use any colour you want. And what I'll do, I'll put a link to where I get my foils from. And I'll talk to you a bit about the foils in a moment when I've cured this one. Okay, so I'm going to cure that for two minutes as well now. Okay, so here's my gold and silver foil. Now I've found that the thinner and flimsier the foil, the better this works. Some premium foils are just slightly too, they're, they're slightly stiff, but these are really, really, they're almost like sort of the paper that you get in chocolate wrappers. Those are the ones that, are, that I find work the best. And as I say, I'll put a link to those as to where I get those. Okay, so this one I'm going to do in silver, I think. So all you're going to do, that's been cured, so there's the tacky layer on there. Just get my lighting right and hopefully you can see what I'm doing and then all I'm going to do is press the foil into the tacky layer and it's just going to stick to where you've put your design and you can press quite hard and because we've buffed the underneath it's only going to stick to the, the sticky bits of the black foil Okay, so hopefully you can see that. So that's the silver one. And then I'll do this one in gold. And again, just gonna push it into the tacky layer. And then it just, the foil just sticks to it. And then you're left with a gorgeous embossed design. And there you go. So what I'll do, I'll top coat those so you can see them as a finished nail. Okay, these are the finished embossed nails and I think they look really cool. I actually really love the gradient as well in the background. Um, I do have a video on embossing with shellac, CND shellac. So if you wanted to check that out, I'll put a link in the description box as well. But in the meantime, if you, if you are struggling with um, transfer foil and gel polish, then this is definitely the way forward. So I'll put a link to nailperfect.com as well in the description box. So hope you enjoyed this, guys, and I'll see you in the next one, which will probably be Stamping Fun Friday, which is my new feature on my channel. So I'll see you then. Take care, bye.